friends this is ritu uppal in this digital world we as higher education teachers are faced with the challenges of using that medium of instruction in which learners are most comfortable this enables a much better retention and reach we are trying to learn and use services like social media networks presentation making software and other useful web tools in the classroom all these can certainly be great for student motivation and learning as higher education teachers we have to keep learning and experimenting with new tools wherein the bond with learner strengthens and also knowledge sharing takes place as higher education teachers have you ever reflected on your work or given personalized feedback to students or shared your experiences with them i am sure all of us have done these activities so that the learners benefit the most we often wonder is there a tool which can allow us to do all this in an informal environment yes there is and it is known as a blog now what is a blog a blog is a website consisting of entries or posts just like they would appear in a personal diary or a journal the major difference is that it is a virtual journal in this journal the post appear in reverse chronological order that is the latest post is always at the top blog is an effective media of sharing one's knowledge and experience a blogger can include photos videos and urls to make his post more interesting and effective while sharing his experiences and knowledge blogs typically include features such as comments and links to increase user interactivity blogs are created using specific publishing softwares a blog is like a discussion forum or an informal site published on the world wide web a majority of blogs are interactive allowing visitors to leave comments and it is this interactivity that distinguishes these blogs from other static websites we can say that blogs are like an open journal or diary that can be viewed on the internet it is a medium on which we can create posts or entries on the topics which we wish to share with others and to reflect on blogs have an interesting feature that allows readers to post their comments on the various postings readers can interact with the blogger by commenting on the posts asking questions posting suggestions and adding their views hence blogs are an excellent tool of two way communication between the blogger and the various readers posting from around the world how can we the teachers in higher education use these blogs to our benefit very often we think back on what has happened in the classroom we reflect on what we could have done differently blogging can help in this process of internalization and logging blogs are the best place to keep an ongoing personal record of our actions decisions thought processes successes and failures we can also log the issues which have to deal with higher education teachers also can use blogs effectively by uploading content and initiating a dialogue between the learners on the given content blog can also be used by higher education teachers to give assignments 
learners can view these assignments and even download them. They can later upload their own assignments in various file formats.